guess what? Huh. It's g- 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 game time. What? What? Pew, pew, pew. Get See, out. that's the thing. I, I, when I listen to podcasts, mine just go from podcast to podcast to podcast. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever look at the titles, and I'm not like exactly sure what they're talking about um, when they're going to start uh-huh. and everything like that. So if you're like me and you're just listening to these in succession, you just got surprised that it's a game episode. But if you're like other people that actually like look at the title of the podcast, you'll know that this is game episode number fifth number fifteen. Ba boom. Ba boom. That is uh, you know, uh, free rights <laughs> sound. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think Netflix technically owns just two things in a row. But uh, how you, yeah, tag how you doing, man? Oh, you know, you know how it is. I'm a, I do. I'm sitting on the banks of an icy river. I cut a hole in it. I built an ice hut, and this was all in VR. Uh, no, none of you're, that happened. Uh, I was gonna say you're sitting you're sitting on the bank of the river and you build an ice hut, so you're not fishing. You're not on the ice. Well, obviously, I know exactly okay. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we're gonna go over some of your uh, wealth of knowledge here Ooh. in our uh, new game to celebrate your. 40 years on this earth. Oh, um, crime. As you have recently, recently hit uh, this milestone. And we are going to quiz you on other things do- having to do with 40. Okay. So I um, have done zero research and am ready good. to go. <laughs> good. Uh, these things are all just associated with 40 in some way or another. Okay. Um, 40 is not the answer to any of these, just so you know. So it's not in, uh, 40 is not in any of the answers. Correct. At all. Okay. Right, right. Got it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're just going to kind of go hard. over some, yeah, <laughs> we're just going to kind of go over some things that, uh, that, that. Uh, are associated with with the number 40. Okay. Firstly, a little bit of uh, unique trivia here. This is also not a question. Like it's, okay, this one, the first question is, uh, the answer is 40. Oh. What is the only number in the English language to have all of its letters in alphabetical order? That's the only word. The only word. The only number did I say word? The only number. Okay, because I was gonna say it, the name spelled out. A, the yeah. name Abe <laughs> is definitely in alphabetical order. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yes, but the only number. Interesting. Where the uh, the letters are in alphabetical order. Okay. Yeah. I can get behind so, that. I could. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a freebie. All right, here we go. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Forty is the atomic number for zirconium or zirconium. Mm-hmm. What is the atomic symbol? So, what are like the letters that represent that R- for zirconium? Mm-hmm. Zirconium. It's not ZC because that is zinc. Good, good. Uh, you, you're getting there. Uh huh. Z N. I think that is tin, isn't it? Tin. No, T. No, no. What is tin? S N. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no. It is Z R for zirconium. Zirconium. Oh. Okay. Zirconium. Yep. 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 Yeah, hey, I mean, I we use it, it all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, that's good. You got 50% on that one. The, the, the thought process was there. <laughs> it was. I mean, yeah. It's been same. a minute since it I is. looked at that periodic table and said, what are these right. weird ones that nobody knows? Mm-hmm. 
All right, this is something we've talked about on the podcast before. Uh oh. So I bet. So you're basically like, so, you better know this. <laughs> so, what is unique about forty degrees below zero? What is unique? Oh no! About forty <laughs> degrees below zero. So zero. Mm-hmm. So you're talking. Fahrenheit or Celsius in this situation. Hmm? 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 You're not going to give it to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh, right. This is where Celsius and Fahrenheit intersect at 40 degrees below zero. Bing, bing, bing. That is correct. It's the same temperature nice. in both systems. Yes. The same yeah, at that point, they it doesn't matter which one you're talking about. They will be the same. They will read as the same temperature, exactly. Right. So, Ooh, yeah. nice. Good job. It was See? a subtle hit. That was nice. But it got me there. <laughs> I, that's almost exactly how I played it. I'm like, I'm going to word this to where I'm like, 40 degrees below, and you're going to be like, do you mean Celsius or Fahrenheit? <gasps> do I? What? <laughs> so, exactly. Good job. <laughs> yep. All right, perfect. I'm okay. feeling okay so this about one. this. So what's that? One for yeah. one for one, one for two. I mean, one for two. <laughs> yeah, I'm one for one point five for two. <laughs> okay, nice. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm going to give you that fifty. Per- <laughs> I'm going to give you that half point. Okay. Because like, like as we established with tin, tin isn't necessarily. Oh yeah. You know, or gold. Gonna or give you yeah. Silver. Silver. Or, yeah, a lot yeah. of those weird Latiny ones. Lead. <laughs> Right. Glimorous. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Potassium. Um, <laughs> Who thought it was K? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Uh, this is said... There's there's going to be a theme for the next couple because... Okay. I, they, would, I would expect like, nothing less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is said to have happened for 40 days and 40 nights... To Noah. It, it rained. It flooded for 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. The rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, I would have also ac- accepted, uh, waited to release the raven when they saw the mountaintops. Fair. Fair. So. so the flood wasn't gone um, yet. Mm-hmm. Right. So they saw, they saw the mountaintops. They, you know, they knew they wouldn't you know, be able to live on a mountaintop. So they waited 40 days and then sent out the raven and it flew back. And so then they sent out the dove or no, the raven didn't return. It doesn't matter. (laughs) I mean, at this point, (laughs) I'm sure it matters to somebody else. Okay. Olive branch. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, the Hebrews were doing this for 40 years in according to the Old Testament, wandering in the wilderness. Correct. Uh, I also would have accepted uh, had like the reign of each of the kings. So each of the kings were said to have reigned for forty years, like Eli, Saul, oh. David, and Solomon. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know, we we can kind of mention this after the the run here. Um, what did Jesus do for 40 days before he was tempted by the devil? He fasted. He fasted. Good job. All right, man. You're, you're crushing this part. This theme, I got, (laughs) I got down. (laughs) Right? Um, okay. Uh, what is the 40 day fast tradition called in modern Christianity? Uh, so that whole let me tie it into the last question what is what do we what do we call that today you i mean in mostly the catholic tradition i guess uh lent lent is correct yes starts with ash wind e yes um so i mean as we know if 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 anybody is uh, a biblical scholar out there uh 40 is generally 
a just big number <laughs> in the Bible. And so a lot of these are just kind of potentially not exactly 40 mm-hmm. years or 40 days. It's just kind of like a lot of days went by <laughs> or we'll say 40. Right. <laughs> and so, so yeah. All right. Um, this one reaching out a little bit further here. Uh, okay. Muhammad was 40 years old when he first received revelation delivered by whom? By Allah? Uh, I'll give you a second guess there. Like Allah, it was Allah's message, but like who was the personage that delivered it? Oh, I don't remember this. Um... (laughs) I don't. I don't know. So, you you would recognize this name. Um, I'm sure you, I would. It just might be. Would. Yeah. Uh, it is the uh, Archangel Gabriel. So. Oh, he's, he's just old mess- Gabe. He's he's just yeah. Gabe's out there messaging messaging the the news to to a bunch of people. <laughs> he's like he's so, like yep. he's like hey new phone who this. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, just just getting getting the good word out there, you That's know? That's right. Just open, yeah, open right. things up. Um, okay, uh, this next one here is, the song number 40 is from what band? Number like, 40. Number 40. Is, uh... Dave Matthews band is a Dave Matthews song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Uh, name a radio countdown with forty. Uh, 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 name a radio countdown with forty. Yeah. Like the actual name of it. Yeah. Uh, like what do they? What do they call it? Top. Casey Kasem stuff when he got down. Uh, something like that. Uh, I'll give it to you. It, like, A America's billboard. Top 40. America's Top 40. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America's Top 40, uh, or American Top 40. There's, like, Country Top 40. Like, but Top 40. Yeah, it's the... It's the that but that was the I'll big, give that to you. That was the big Casey Kasem radio show. Right? Casey I mean, Kasem. Did 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. This is Casey. I can't do his. I can't do Casey Kasem. But, <laughs> just, just, just think of Shaggy. Exactly. <laughs> this is That's Shaggy, like, okay. Scoob. This is the top 40 character. <laughs> You just get, you just gotta get in the in, in that goatee, you know, stoner head <laughs> mindset. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's zoinks! Uh, this is America's top forty. That was terrible because uh, his radio voice is so. It's I mean, it's obviously iconic as mellow. Know, it's so very, mellow, like, but yeah. it's also singy, yeah. songy, and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Casey Gates, I can't again. I can't yeah, really it's, do it's, mm-hmm. anything besides Shaggy a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, if you didn't know, Casey the, Kasem did oh. the voice of Shaggy. I kind of felt like we needed to explain that. Otherwise, if oh, you really? didn't know oh, that, okay. well, I'm, I'm, I think <laughs> most people do. But for those who didn't, they would have been like, "What? Right. Or how, how did we jump to Shaggy?" There you go. He yeah, was the original Casey voice Kasem of Shaggy from was a, Yeah, Casey Kasem was a very popular radio DJ, and yes. his his go to show was America's Top Forty, where he just played the top forty songs, you know, and that's basically where that comes from. And then everything I don't want to give a history I don't really know, but I think everything else kind of branches off of that, where it's like country's top forty or right, 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 right. All these other shows are kind of just spin offs of it, and he was also the beloved. Cartoon character uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the radio. When when everybody knew radio stars, they were the the most popular right. people around. Well, yeah. If you don't know Casey Kasem's voice, you go listen to it on YouTube tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was amazing, and it was really good to go to sleep to. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Uh, we're the world we're old. Sports here. Is this, is this a 40s quiz? <laughs> This is a 40s quiz. So anybody who's like, you know, on board with, you know, being 40, they know Casey Kasem. I would I would hope so. so I would hope so. Yeah. Mhm. All right. Um in baseball, mm-hmm. each MLB team can have f- up to 40 what? It's a little bit I mean, I wouldn't have known this. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Uh, but it makes it makes sense. Every MLB team can, each can, each MLB can have up to forty what? Well, immediately I want to go to players, but that doesn't sound right. That's way too many. Um, so it is. I, I mean, that's it. It's it's contracted players. Okay, so, so not suit up players, but contracted players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like on the on the roster, and I mean, I could be confusing this a little bit, but it's it's basically they can have up to forty contracts at a given time. Gotcha. So, you know, they can't just like you can't have like a pool of six hundred players, right, you know, right, 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 given right. given for every game. You gotta have you know you gotta rotate through the same forty for you know how whatever. And let people go, cut people if if you're not going to make it. So, which is why they have so many feeder teams. I would assume, like, right? You know, they're just like they're right. just constantly got people literally on, literally and figuratively on deck. <laughs> to right, right. Just and call up if they jump, need a guy. Jump up. Yep. 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 Okay. Um, the tennis score forty forty is called what? Uh, a deuce. A deuce. You remember when we played tennis that one time? <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> I am. I am so bad at tennis. Well, I I'm mean, so bad at tennis. Brandon, you only played once. I thought you did pretty good for once. Right, but I, I like, like racquetball is like so my game because it's like you need to hit the ball in this general direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, up is best. Like, down is okay, but not too far down, you know? Mm-hmm. Whereas in tennis, the finesse of getting the ball between the sky and the net is very difficult for me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I either hit it straight into the net or onto my side or... Or I hit it way too high up, and it just goes way over the uh, the back line there. Yeah, it's out of bounds like every time. Well, and so and now that's I, why. Yeah, I really mm-hmm. want to go play racquetball now. Yeah, racquetball. I love racquetball. Racquetball is just like just get to the ball and get it to the wall. Exactly. You know? Exactly. That's, that's, you can that's aim all it you down, do. so it's gonna have a very short distance from mm-hmm. the wall to the floor. Great, but. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do that. But if if all else fails, just bounce it off the back wall. You know, <laughs> like right. you're just like Bleh. just haymaker it, just you know, all the way around. So exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you all ever right, play? So, did you ever play volleyball? I don't think so. What is so, volleyball? Well, exactly? at our high school, the racquetball courts were fitted for volleyball. Oh yeah, the bas or the the volleyball right. thing, right? So the, it was yes. a volleyball net that mm-hmm. went in the racquetball court, and you played with a volleyball that basically looked like a giant blue racquetball, <laughs> right? And uh, but you could play off the walls, and there's no out of bounds really. You just got to hit it back over the mm-hmm. net in three hits, you know, and you can ricochet it off the wall and bounce it over to their side or whatever. That was fun. It's a fun game. We we had a racquetball court in one of my apartment complexes, right? And everything, and we played all the time, and um, we came up with so many different games in there, of like, uh, like literally just like playing direct, not playing racquetball, but playing like off the ceiling, uh-huh. where you just like. <laughs> You just try to smack it as hard as you can against the ceiling and see how many bounces or how high you can get the bounce off the floor and, you know, hit it, 
you know, against the floor to see if it'll hit the ceiling. Like, I don't know. We just, yeah. right. I mean, we liked, we love racquetball as a normal game, but just, just we're messing around in there as much right. as we could. I want to say just, that yeah. I went with you one time when I was in town. You did. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. To play. And I was good, times. good times. For sure. Welcome to Racket Chat. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, ready the, for the episode next one is just us talking about racquetball. <laughs> yeah. All right. A, quote, 40 of malt liquor refers to what? 40 ounces. What is 40, 40 ounce bottle. ounces. Yes. Which is a heck of a ton. That's a lot. So you <laughs> lied because 40 was totally in that answer. No, ounce, ounces was the answer. 40, 40 ounces, though. I couldn't have just said ounces. Oh, I said, sorry. Depending on that, yes, you're correct. <laughs> the 40 in a 40 refers to what? There you go. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Sorry, uh, I just wanted to be difficult. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> you're so you're so cantankerous already. Hey, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, late or yeah. early or middle of the mm-hmm. day, depending on when you're listening to this. Okay. Name two states that I-40 runs through in its 2,559.2-mile oh. 4,118.71 kilometer run. So name two states of I-40. Oh, goodness. Uh... <laughs> this is, this is drawing, the, drawing the map in your mind. <laughs> well, like, we're talking towards the west coast. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well... No, I'll I'll I'll, I'll I'll give you a hint. Wait, 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 wait. The no. yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the no, fives run. Right, 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 yeah, right, right, the fives right. run north south. Right, right, right. Nope, I got it. The because I seventy yep. goes east and west. So mm-hmm. same with same with I forty. So it's more it, southern ish. Uh, mm-hmm. I I don't know if I've ever driven I forty. So, so I just need to name two I states. So it, it's got to be a lot. Two of, states. A lot of states. There's quite a few states. Yeah. Um. I would have to say, it's got to run through Arizona and New Mexico. Arizona and New Mexico is 100 percent correct. Yes. Oh. Uh, it goes. California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, and North Carolina. So, I mean, literally, like, you you probably did it in your head as best as you could. You're like, well, okay, I-70 runs through Utah and Colorado. I-80 runs through Wyoming. So what's below them? Arizona and New Mexico. <laughs> right. I was like, if it stretches all the way across... I was I was mm-hmm. thinking you know it's got to hit California realistically if it's going all if it mm-hmm. go if it goes all the way across there mm-hmm. now there's a chance you know it's not that low so it probably doesn't you know it probably does stretch the whole way versus some that mm-hmm. probably don't um, but it uh, kind of ends in a weird place in California in my opinion does it yes yeah. yeah. but I figured if it made it all the way to the west coast. Since I know it doesn't go through Colorado, mm-hmm. it has to go through those two states because those are the two southern states in that point mm-hmm. of, the, of the of the map. So, right, and I mean to your point, like if you're naming uh, some of the northern, more northern uh, interstates you're going to run into more states, you know, right, like, right. It's like, Oh, well it's the, the states are just literally smaller where if you think of like, Oh, it runs through Texas, you know, like, right. and you know, New Mexico and Arizona are some of our bigger states. And so you, you got, you know, right. Well, I, and, and, and yeah, I was thinking if I go back East, I'm not sure where it's going to mm-hmm. terminate. Like I would have never guessed North Carolina. Is that what you said? North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Too fuzzy. And I gave you the mileage. Yeah, I gave you the mileage so you could kind of get an idea of the span right. of it, you know, because, like, 
like you said, there are plenty that just like, oh, this is, you know, 400 miles. And it's like, cool. It, it's right. a state and a half, you know, versus like, oh, no, this goes from pretty much almost coast to coast. Right. Kind of thing, so. Nice. Know. Woo. Okay. Logic. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're actually you're you're crushing this, man. You're doing awesome. You're very kind. Yeah, <laughs> I've learned um, a few things over the yeah, years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, just you know, gotta brush up on your you know Muhammad stuff, <laughs> right? Your, right. His his whole journey and Gabriel. everything. I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, that. I wouldn't have got that in many years. Oh, it is definitely something that you just like. I mean, at this point, I just kind of associate, you know, with that. Like, mm. Gabriel's just the kind of the the start of a new run kind of thing, you right, know? Right, right. Like, I mean, yeah. All right. Um, WD-40 is named because it's the 40th formula, but what does the WD stand for? Oh. I I I uh I knew this at one point, looked it up mm-hmm. probably within the last year or two. So it wasn't that oh, long cool. ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um It's yeah, it is definitely uh, interesting. I can't think of either one um so it has to, i mean it has to do with it's not like like what it is doing and what it is doing in a certain sense is like i'll say protecting things from rust right um i mean it, it, we all most people think of it as the lubricant and everything and, and right. that you know is obviously it, is something that it does like weather but protecting it from rust weather deterrent or? uh that is a good guess yeah but it I is exactly much more general it is water displacement right Ugh, i knew yeah. you'd say it and I'd be like yep 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 yeah yeah. No, Which not, is interesting. not two I mean, words that yeah. <laughs> you remember that uh, easily stick the, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is definitely kind of a, oh, okay. I, I, I mean, I can see where that comes from, but would never have guessed what WD, you know, well, stood for, or even weird, the 40. It's really. a weird yeah. name, if you think mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. Like, if you said water displacement formula 40, okay, I'm with you. Water right. displacement mm-hmm. forty. Yeah, it's like you you displaced water forty times, or this it's can forty percent water. You're 40 you're displacing. Times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the buoyancy of it is forty. You know, to but one. just yeah, just know. the phrase wa- yeah. water displacement. Mm-hmm. You're like, excuse me, can I get um, can I get water displacement? <laughs> Can I get water displacement uh, 38? You know, I think <laughs> which, they actually which, peaked, and then, yeah. you know, they kind of just... you like? 40, please. Yeah, they, they, they changed it, new Coke style, and 40 <laughs> is, like, technically <laughs> trying to go back to old Coke, right. but actually 38 was, like, the golden era of, right. of a WD, in my opinion. Right. <laughs> so, Pepsi clear. Yeah. Yeah, bring back, bring back WD 38. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's clamoring uh, for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what board game has 40 spaces? 40 spaces? Mm-hmm. You, uh, might, uh, uh, uh. you might say 41 if you're just visiting. Little little clue there. I don't know if that helps at all. Is that right, though? Is that right? What do you mean? Is 40 spaces? Yeah. I mean, tell me what you're thinking. I guess I don't know if that's right. <laughs> if you're thinking, you know, well, if you're thinking I'm, chess, no. I'm no, thinking, that is not right. <laughs> I'm thinking Monopoly. Monopoly is correct. Yes. So, 
It's it's ten spaces per side. But the corner, they're not counting the corners, or they are counting the corners. Yeah, it's, they are counting the corners because, like, it's, it's well, yeah, it's it's technically if you take one side by itself, it's eleven spaces, because a ten will get right. you from go to jail. Right. To free park, and ten, another ten will get you to free parking, and another ten will get you to uh, go to jail. Right. So, um, so there's technically eleven spaces per side, but then since you're counting each of the corners only once, it's forty in total. So, how did you get forty one though? I I it was just I don't know if you I I was just putting that out there as like. The jail could technically be like two different spaces because you're visiting on in one jail and or you're on the just other. visiting. Yeah. Okay. Well, so it was more of a way to give you some kind of clue to the just visiting thing rather well, than. Yeah. You know. Well, strangely enough, you the, the moment you said that question, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Monopoly. Monopoly. Just the, but, 40 spaces. But, mm-hmm. but it's been so long. Like, uh, if I had to mm-hmm. sit there and try to count the sides, we, I might have got to it, but it would have took me a second for sure. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm going like, back in my like, board game mind palace. Ball sick. It's like, yeah, Community ball thing. chest. Community chest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're like, maroon, Just maroon. Community down, chest. Down, <laughs> chest. down the line <laughs> of the first it's one. Like down uh, the reading. Uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, no, waterworks, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, so interestingly enough, this is this is so ingrained in a lot of us that it's you know ten spaces to a corner, ten spaces to a corner, and uh-huh. so on and so forth. Uh, uh we hunted down because it took a little bit. It was kind of like it was our um, tickle me Elmo or Cabbage Patch doll a few years ago was the millennial monopoly. Okay. Or Monopoly for Millennials is technically what it's called. Uh-huh. Couple couple variations on that is that you, you instead of money you get like likes, and instead of buying a property because you can't afford Millennials can't afford real estate, you instead like basically are posting an experience of like the spaces are like a vegan bistro or uh-huh. a uh, <laughs> music concert or uh-huh. something something. But the thing is. We started playing, and we would roll the dice and be like, oh, 10, boop, boop, boop. And you would just jump to the corresponding space on the other edge of the board. Uh-huh. And then we would – and then at one point, and we were count, uh, oh, okay, 8, do, do, do. And we were, like, getting off, and we're like, what is going on? And then we looked at it, and we're like, holy crap. There's only, like, eight spaces per side. Really? And it just, we just couldn't even just, it was just one of those, like, didn't even compute for us until we literally counted the individual spaces because they, they didn't want to think of all the different spaces and they got rid of, uh, I think, the public works kind of stuff. Uh huh. And so it just, like, they got rid of two spaces per side, so it, like, blew our minds. So we're like, oh, so if you roll an eight, it gets you from corner to corner? Like, oh, I'm so... That's gonna mess me up the whole game. Yeah, but I it bet very weird. I bet it just kind of messes with the mechanics as well. Uh, I mean, a little bit. I mean, it's a roll of the dice, you know. So, you know, the highest you'll get is twelve, and right, you know, versus two. So, I mean, <clears throat> it's it's a different, completely different formula of game anyway. Okay. In the in how you win, so it's not like you're. Of the, you really have gotcha. a solid strategy or something, but it was just—it was just—it didn't even occur to us to recount the spaces. We just naturally assumed that it would be four, you know, ten, ten, and ten, and ten, and yeah, and so on. Okay. All right. Who was almost killed by forty thieves? Who was almost killed by forty thieves? Mm-hmm. Um, Al- Alibaba. Alibaba, and I—I I mean, I had to kind of like look this look this story up and stuff. Like, 
for whatever reason, I thought Alibaba was part of the 40 Thieves, just by the title, you know? Alibaba, but right. He, but it's like, oh, like, you know, it's like KC and the Sunshine Band. Not like the Sunshine <laughs> Band's trying to kill KC. Right, right. They, <laughs> yeah. they do not enjoy his grooves. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Gladys Knight is not, get, you know, being chased down by the pips, you know, and right. everything. I just, right. I just assumed they were a band. Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Like, you know, like, why not? But no. <laughs> <laughs> So. That would be a great like band added adage for your band name. <laughs> yeah, Taggart and the Forty Thieves. Mm-hmm. But they're not with us. They are against us. They have they have forty <laughs> hands between them because you know what happens Four, to these. That's it. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um. Time and a half is uh, typically for overtime of over 40 hours, right? You get paid time and a half. Okay. Is, is the general thing. Uh, what is the pay for over 60 hours in a week? D- uh, d- double, double time. D- 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 double time. I did not know that. I didn't, I mean, I don't generally go 60 hours in a week. That'd be. Right. Stupid Death. and terrible, <laughs> right. but but yeah, like if, typically if you get you know forty hours, forty to sixty, and then double time after that, so right, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, um, good money if you can if you can hack it, but good leave. oh yeah, think about that's how not like, a, that's not a work life balance. That's just work. Well, because that's the thing is like when I think about getting like overtime and stuff like that, like the amount of overtime that I typically would get is like an hour, an hour right. forty five right. or something. So like that extra half is like, yeah, it's nice, but it's not like you know, right. getting me getting me like a, but to, a new to, car. But to, or anything. Yeah, but to add a whole mm-hmm. part time job's worth of time on top of that and then go over that. Mm-hmm. Right, because like that's that great. double time, it's, it's like oh, that's nice. To get to sixty, right? But it doesn't like it doesn't translate back. It's not like those, uh, you know, uh, what do you like the the rewards points in certain games or selling magazines or something like. Once you break this threshold, then it counts for all of your points go double. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's not like uh, once you hit sixty hours. All your pay is double, so you get 120 hours. It's like, well, no, you're getting, like, if you get 61 hours, that last hour is double. And you're like, oh, okay. Right. So it's like 62. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. That, that's how they should do it. They should totally gamify it to where it's like, once you hit 40, everything goes a uh, well, time and a half. And once you hit 60. Would, you would have a lot of people. Get you would have a lot 41 of people. hours and 61 <laughs> hours <laughs> yeah exactly because exactly. all i need is that extra hour and everything <laughs> mm-hmm. boom, 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 everything pays upgrade. back upgrade mm-hmm. yeah all right a little little practical one here i mean they're all some of them are more practical than others like if you're on i-40 you kind of know where you are in right. the country okay uh 40 weeks of pregnancy is the average term but when, or what starts the clock? Like, what are they basing that 40 weeks off of? And this is like my my partner's <laughs> argument to that it's really 10 months of pregnancy because 40 divided by 4 is 10. <laughs> You know, like, I don't know where this whole, you know, nine months came from. Right. <laughs> right. Um, what what does the doctor ask you, or ask, probably not you, but <laughs> what does the doctor ask in order to calculate that, uh, that for, like, where you are in that 40-week chart time frame? Uh, any uh, ideas uh, there? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've had two children, but uh, I know you, 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 you've gone you've gone through this process twice. And, I know, you know, but it's like you. What does the doctor the... ask? 
That yeah. kind of threw well, me more than. I mean, it, it would be what would the doctor ask to calculate it, but like most women would know this is how it's based off of, you know. So the doctor probably doesn't ask; they just say like, you know, I don't know, like. Yeah, they ask. I mean, they asked us. Did it's they? like, yeah, like oh, okay. Well, let's make sure we get your right, you know, number of how many weeks and days you are. When was your blank? Well, they base it off of. Like your your, <laughs> your cycle, like you, like uh, yeah how late you are or whatever yeah so they base it off your last menstrual period so it's not conception is very hard to guess when it happened where sure. you know all that where it happened why it happened any of those questions we they don't have to why. answer in the doctor's office yeah <laughs> but right. how it happened you know all that kind of stuff but yeah like they they don't base it off of like you know you need to keep track of you know when you think conception happened, right. they just say but they can do the when, math from when you're last. Yeah, so it's right. it's pretty much just like okay, like if your last you know your last period was here, your you know ovulation probably started at this point, and then your conception started sometime after that. But they don't right. base it off of that. They base it off of technically when you are completely not pregnant, <laughs> and then. The whole rest of the time, they consider you pregnant. So, right, just found that, right, found that okay. interesting. So, for the first, you know, couple of weeks, eat because you and you don't know because literally you can't be pregnant because you you don't you haven't produced an egg and all that. Kind of, right, we're right. talking like we we are, you know, experiencing all this, but um, it, it's just just funny that's why it's like i don't understand this is this is not nine months this is 40 or this is 10 months it's like well technically you aren't pregnant at the beginning but they will count it <laughs> they'll count this is this is right. going back to the 60 hour work week man like they're giving you credit for that <laughs> they're, right. they're saying you know well i right. mean we'll give you that extra two weeks if you, if you know, i get if the you full really... 40 right i get a full child so yeah exactly so <laughs> we'll give you that two weeks of credit because you know you were getting ready to have a baby and then you know we'll, we'll get it out at 40 hopefully right yeah <laughs> yeah okay <clears throat> Um, yeah, I bet anybody who goes over 41 would definitely like time and a half. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. all right. <clears throat> all right, this is a little bit of a long one. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Okay. This is something I found interesting, and I delved way too much into it and everything like that, but the, <laughs> nice. the, the answer the answer is, is very simple, um, but the, the question's a little complex. Okay. As part of Special Field Orders Number 15, a wartime proclamation by Union General William Tecumseh Sherman, Tecumseh? William Sherman, Tecumseh, yeah, Tecumseh Sherman, on January 16th, 1885, during the American Civil War. Uh, so this proclamation was uh, to allot land to some freed families, like freed enslaved families, uh -huh. um, in plots of land no larger than 40 acres, 16 uh -huh. hectares, uh, is referred to as 40 acres and what animal? 40 acres For, and... Uh... And a blank. Mm -hmm. and a, so it's it's considered like the 40 acres and blank rule or and a proclamation. Is it a mule? It is a mule. Very good. Nice. That's, yes. That's, that's the first thing I thought of and I was like, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So I just um, went with my first impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's, and that's. Uh, interestingly enough, Spike Lee's Filmworks Company is like right. 40 acres, yeah, and a mule and everything. 
because yeah, the the I guess the mule is technically not in the like official thing, but it was just a general like, you know, if we have any extra mules, like you get forty acres and a mule, like here you go, and you know whether that right actually happened or not is I think kind of Spike Lee's point or whatever, but that right. was just I just found that Still. very very interesting to be like right. yeah like. If you got forty acres and a mule to help you plow it and everything like that, like you know, you'd be set. Like heck right. yeah, but right. They uh, unfortunately didn't get get all that that they wanted. So okay, no, no, didn't happen. For all right. Most people. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is uh, the last one here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. At the end already. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yalda Knight, I am I could be pronouncing this completely wrong. Just say it again. Is, I'm sorry. Uh Yalda or Yalde? Yalda Yalde? Okay. Mm-hmm. Y A L D A with the accent over Knight. Okay. Is an Iranian festival. Um Often celebrated eating 40 edibles, like 40 different food items, um, in one night. Which night of the year are they celebrating? Uh (laughs) So, you gotta think, like, what gives you enough time to eat 40 different things? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's gotta be the longest day of the year. The longest day of the year? Or the longest night, I guess, since it's in the title? Yes. Uh huh. It is the winter solstice. So, yeah, gotcha. if they're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna sit around and eat 40 different things on one night, I would say, like, yeah, you got to have a long Choose night. the one with the <laughs> longest hour. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And that is that is our 40 quiz. So, wow. Uh, I didn't really keep score, but I would say you, you got uh, probably about, you know, 90, 85, 90% of those. So, well... I would say, I would as the trivia or just <laughs> games in general <laughs> that I've been on the receiving end of here, uh, mm-hmm. probably the best showing <laughs> that I have uh, <laughs> been able to put together. No, I mean, I'll, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Like, that 40 acres and a mule thing, like, that is the most impressive, in my opinion, because I, oh, really? would, I would... Like I said, I mean, I delved into that when I was looking it up and everything because I, it just is, I mean, I probably, I've heard that phrase before, but it's never been associated with the Civil War or anything really? in my mind and stuff like that. So I, oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have pulled that out really. So, yeah, I no, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know necessarily, I guess why I know that really well, but like, uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't necessarily remember a time not knowing that, I guess. It, I, okay. I, I don't know. That's how ingrained it is. I guess, obviously it was mm-hmm. there and I was a little unsure of myself, but, mm-hmm. but, uh, well, even like you know. general Sherman, like, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm not very well versed on the major players besides Grant and Lee in the right. in the Civil War. To be to be fair, I I do remember specifically we had a box set of videotapes uh-huh. all about the Civil War, and it was like it was like eight to ten tapes. It was big, and it really? was in a box set that had like the American flag like over the. The, the top of the or like on the side panels uh-huh. so like when you put them in the box set like it made like this nice war torn American flag and stuff like that and I 
had watched them at one point, but it was like kind of on in the background, and I didn't sit there and right go go I through that heavily. <sighs> but yeah, but yeah, yeah I, mean, I don't know. I think I've heard enough people talk about you know how that basically didn't come about. Maybe a few people mm-hmm. actually got that, but 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 it, it, by it, and large, it, it, like mm-hmm. you know, there's some are still like, where where is that at, bro? <laughs> right, we and were and it was and did not right, get it. and I mean. It was it was definitely like even still like a special field order by the military, right. you know, in in wartime, and so it's not like it was as powerful, obviously, as the Emancipation Proclamation, which was like a presidential order, you know, right, for the entire right. country. It was this general being like, "Hey, you know, we got these individuals that need, you know, land for their families." Let's, you know, especially if they're fighting for us, let's get them this, you know. Right. And, and it was like, oh, you, that's what we're doing? It's like, well, I mean, are we doing doing this? Or is it just this is a good idea if we have the ability to, you know. So, again, yes. I'm not saying right. they obviously deserved a lot and more, but it's it makes a little bit of sense to it. It was just kind of like, yeah, give them, give them this to get them on their feet. And then it's like. Oh, we don't have enough right. for everybody. Exactly. Something. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because they were giving them just war mules. Just like, here's some extra pack animals that we aren't using right now. But I just, yeah. Again, I find that very interesting where it's just like, yeah, if you got 40 acres and a mule, like, you're you're set. Well, yeah, Depending on the 40 acres, like I guess. That's the whole <laughs> idea is, right? Mm-hmm. That's your no, homestead no good def- starter kit. Yeah. yeah, no good to free all these people just to have them be homeless and jobless and, mm-hmm. you know, not set them on the path to success, mm-hmm. which exactly. obviously is more, right. <laughs> more about what actually happened. Um, hmm. So, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. No, but, uh, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, you did great, man. Good job. Thanks. Well, congratulations Woo. on uh, your your experience has, has has brought you well to this point. You've yeah. Some yeah, of that. Well, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've retained something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we were gonna keep this to a tight forty minutes, except I didn't think of that until we were at thirty five minutes. <laughs> so it just was like, well, we got three more questions to go, and they're gonna Fair be long. Enough. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. So. Well, and I thought maybe you were going to go to around 40 questions. I was thinking that, but I'm like, mm, 20 sounds pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, let's it's just a, to not acknowledge 20 that. 20 questions, and, 20 yeah. answers, that's 40. There you go. Yep. And so, um, but yeah, I think that's uh, all we got for you today. Uh, we got more games. Uh, honestly, like... Our games are so much fun, and we have so many more games like planned. Like I am, like yeah. I am so giddy about the the games that we got coming up. And so, subscribe to the podcast. Um, listen to our regular uh, podcast where we give each other a question of the day. Hit up uh, our own memories in triggered memories, and tell you something new about each of us. Uh, and then, and late, you know, and then we'll throw in a game or two, or even better, join us on Patreon, where another favorite of ours is we do a beginning to the end podcast. And Taggart, what is yeah. that? Well, the beginning uh, to the end podcast, we 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 watch the the pilot of some show, and then we watch the finale of that show. Usually, it's a show that we've never seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're like, we don't know what happened <laughs> where, in the middle. Where this new character comes Just from? <laughs> how it ended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> where did Gillian go? We don't know. Uh, uh, why is the good wife crying? 
Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, if you have any suggestions on what we should watch, please hit us up. We've ca- we've received a few, and some of them mm-hmm. we like, but but some of them we've seen. So we we we're not opposed to that. We have watched a couple of shows that we've we have seen some of, but mm-hmm. uh, it's more fun for us to if it's something we haven't seen. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, we gotta get one of those out to you here shortly anyway mm-hmm. so yeah so uh patreon tag and brand or yeah tag and brando uh tag and brando at gmail and twitter facebook and instagram and we'll keep these going for you guys yeah all right we're out bye